you are being lied to and you're buying into five great lies about the food you put in your body. These lies cost you money, they cost you your longevity, they cost you health, and they negatively impact the health of your family. Billions of people buy into these lies and eat and drink things that they think are healthy. But when you understand the truth, you gain the ability to immunize yourself from these lies. Doing this will not only add years to your life, but it will save you and your family thousands of dollars. The first big lie is fruit juice. We are trained to believe that fruit juice is healthy because we associate fruits with health and nutrition. Fruits are healthy, but fruit juice is not. Most modern fruit juices that you buy in a grocery store are filled with sugar and artificial flavoring and only contain a tiny bit of the total vitamins and nutrition that you would get in an actual fruit. Big lie number two. Companies like Coca-Cola in their worldwide marketing create an artificial connection between their drink and your happiness. Coca-Cola isn't happiness and positivity in a red can. It is obesity and diabetes in a red can. Billions of dollars are spent every year by large soda companies to associate their drinks with happiness, positivity, a sense of adventure, and deeper human connection. All of these are triggers that entice us as human beings, but within every can are slow poisons that wreak havoc on your body. The big lie number three, sugar. Yes, our bodies do need small levels of sugar every now and then. However, large food companies have realized that sugar's addictive quality means that when they add sugar to their products, we can't stop buying them and eating them. Thus, up to 70% or more of products that you buy in the average American grocery store today contain sugar. And sugar, says modern science, is not just bad for your health. It can be as addictive as cocaine. Companies get you hooked on eating more and more and more. Big lie number four, the lie of diet soda. In a brilliant move, they took the word diet, a word that we associate with health, and slapped it on cans of soda. It's proven that diet soda in many cases is actually worse for your body than regular soda because it disrupts the trillions of cells in your gut that regulate your biology. Lie number five is the exercise myth. Modern studies show that 80 to 90 percent of your body shape has little to do with exercise. In fact, most of your body shape is based on what you eat. Companies like Nestle market drinks like Milo and put sports stars on the package, suggesting to kids in developing countries that drinking Milo gives them the energy for them to go forth and succeed at sports. What Nestle doesn't share is that Milo is 40 percent sugar. In fact, to burn off the number of calories in a glass of Milo, a child would have to run two kilometers. It is no wonder that in countries with high consumption of Milo, obesity is on the rise. These five lies flow together in beautiful symphony and brainwash billions of us to eat things that are bad for us, to spend our money with large companies who get us hooked on substances that destroy our health. And they are hurting not just us, but our children and entire generations to come. The way to get these companies to shift is to expose these lies so that these companies take responsibility and change their products for the better. The last time we created a video like this to expose Nestle's practices in Malaysia, we got banned from every single media outlet in Malaysia because Nestle spends $3 billion a year on advertising. However, our video became the biggest story in Malaysia because Malaysians shared it using WhatsApp. This pushed Nestle to side with the truth. In Australia and New Zealand, Milo lost its four and a half stars for health and became one star. In Singapore, zero sugar Milo was introduced. When we stop falling for the lies, we take away the power that these companies have to destroy our health. So let's stop this blatant lying to billions of people. Share this video and let's wake up humanity to the truth.